Hey guys, this is me Rachit and welcome to another video in the interview experience series. So today I want to share my experience with QFIT. So it's a growing startup running in Bangalore and it runs in the fitness and health category. So when I applied for QFIT as a software engineer, I was looking for some senior roles because I already had over two years of experience working in Microsoft and I was looking out for some greater responsibilities. So that's about 2018 end when I applied or my interview experience with QFIT began and the process spanned for over two months, which consisted of multiple phone interview rounds and I was not dealing with QFIT directly. So there was some middleman HR or consultation agency in between. So this is how it works and like we have in middle the QFIT HR, then we have the middleman recruiting consultancy with which I was talking indirectly with the QFIT HR. So when we had four rounds, which were I think three to four. So this is how it used to work. So the middleman recruiting consultancy used to call me and say that be on time and they would send me two to three call reminders one day before the uh, it scheduled interview and also on the day they used to call me before 30 minutes before two hours that yeah you have an interview so that's good i thought that it's a very good and smooth process but when the actual interview was scheduled the qfit developer or the interviewer will take up to 30 minutes so it was like a really horrible experience and i was not even in college um <coughs> like i also have my day scheduled i have lots of meetings and it's okay that it happens for one or two times, but it was happening continuously. So, I mean, for three to four rounds, most of the phone rounds, the interviewer was late. And in one of the rounds, uh, I think the interviewer was on time or he was just five or 10 minutes late or something. And uh, he told me that, do you have any feedback? And I just said that maybe the execution of your interviews can be improved as candidates or also having a schedule they have to maintain. And regarding the middleman recruiting consultancy, I just asked them that, I know that you are doing your good job of reminding me, but please ask QFIT HR or the QFIT interviews as well to be on time and reschedule if it's not the right time for them. And guys, to be honest, I have seen that this disturbance or turbulence in the entire interview process from end to end is there is a lot of chaos in startups in well established companies. Like if you're giving interviews with Microsoft or Google, I'm pretty much sure that it's a very smooth process. and. I, I, and I really uh, learned the value of that only after I interviewed with QFIT. So um, coming back to the three, four phone rounds, I think most of the questions were on dynamic programming and greedy and like really simple problems, which are about analysis or like testing your problem solving skills. So one of the question which was very much interesting and worth sharing is that um, you have a array which is like 54433 3, and what it means is that you have balloons and 5 essentially means that the balloon is at height 5 and then 4 means the balloon next balloon is at height 4 and as you can see in the picture we have 5 balloons and their heights are like very well documented now the interesting bit is that you are shooting arrows from left to right direction and once you shoot an arrow and let's say if it hits a balloon at height x the height of the arrow or the trajectory of the arrow decreases by one. So for example, in this case, if you shoot an arrow with that, with a height five, it will first hit the balloon at height five, its height will decrease by one. Then it encounters the second balloon, which happens to be at the same height as of the arrow, which is four now, and it bursts that out. The height of the arrow now decreases by one. So now arrow is flying at height three. The next balloon is of height four. So the arrow is at height three and it does not burst that. But the next arrow is at height three and it gets bursted and the height of the arrow becomes two. And now we don't have any balloon of height two in the upcoming balloons. So that's it. The, the arrow that we shooted was able to burst three balloons. And now we have to shoot another balloon to basically burst the rest of the two balloons. So in this case, two arrows were sufficient to completely destroy all the balloons, right? And the question was to minimize the number of arrows you need. And I think it's a very interesting question and the time complexity really matters in this case. I was able to solve this in order N and the important question over here was when I, when I came up with the solution, 
it was a greedy one and I discussed with the interviewer and I said that yeah this will work and we tried on a few test cases and it was working but then interviewer asked me that tell me why your solution is wrong and that's a very important question like when you seem to have some solution and it's very difficult to come out of that and try to see where is the mistake over there and I really enjoyed solving this problem and I will definitely recommend you to take out some pen and paper and try out solving this. The questions were like really amazing and I loved solving them. Uh, so once I had three to four rounds which dealt with questions like these, I was invited to their on-site office in Bangalore. And again that had three to four rounds in a single day. And the questions were again in the category of dynamic programming, greedy dp on trees which was a very interesting question and then the final hr round um, guys i also have a playlist on dp on trees so i will link that in the video description please feel free to check that out so guys um, if you are having trouble in understanding these questions i would definitely recommend you to go to algo expert it's a very well trusted website i really trust this a lot and they have a 70 question list they have very carefully selected those questions and they are covering an entire range of spectrum from arrays, binary search trees, graphs, trees, binary trees, dynamic programming. And I really love this website and use Rachet if you're interested for some discount. And the best thing about them is that the customers are really happy and they have been using this portal to get jobs at like really big five brands. Anyways, guys, um, the the crux of Algo Expert is that they have just 70 problems and those 70 problems can be finished in a very short amount of time. So your productivity after covering or uh, completing the Algo Expert 70 problem list will be like tremendous. And they are covering entire range from strings to trees to graphs. They have video explanations. They also give you code walkthroughs. You can also write code yourself on their integrated coding platform, which also has test cases. So you can check whether your solution is right or not. Also, they provide solutions in five languages. And if you are not from C++ or Python background, you are from JavaScript, you can also refer to solutions in JavaScript. So guys, I will definitely recommend you to check this out. They have really happy customers. So if you are preparing for coding interviews and need some help, definitely go to algoexpert.io slash Rachat to get your 30% off. All right, guys. So this is how my on-site interview was lined up. And um, there was an also an HR round wherein the manager from the CoFit company or the team for which they were hiring me, he came up and he was talking about the difference in culture that I might expect uh, working at Microsoft versus working at CoFit. And uh, one point that I really liked over there was that if you are working in a startup, of course, your responsibility will be a lot and you will be writing a lot of code, you will be handling even the bigger pieces of responsibility, which is something you might not get in a very well established company because they have a lot of developers. And also the bigger the company is, the more they are caring about their brand and the deployments that they're doing in production. So it really comes into the hands of senior folks or some young engineers who are really talented and have proved their worth. So as a learning experience, I feel that in that way, joining a startup is much, much better. But feel free to leave in comments what are your thoughts about this. But yeah, this is what I feel like in general. Of course, it varies from company to company, but the gist is something which I we can generalize like this. Anyways, guys, so this is how I finally got the offer after cracking all these rounds, um, three to four phone rounds, and then again, three to four rounds on the on-site day. The offer was a bit uh, disappointing for me because um, what they were offering me was even less than what they were offering to IIT Rudki juniors. And of course, I'm from IIT Rudki, so I just asked to my juniors that what was QFIT paying to the freshers who will be joining from IIT Rudki to the fresh graduates. I really got upset when I heard about this because I, I was also from IIT Rudki and I was working with Microsoft, which is a very good brand, established brand. And I really don't know why they like they were paying me less. So I just asked whether my interview rounds were not good or they are hiring me for SD1 or like I really wanted to know. And I just asked like, if that's the case, then why are you giving me less? And the HR was not able to convince me. And it was like a really uh, waste of efforts for both of us. We also invest, I also invested a lot of my time 
and they also invested a lot of time as well as money in flying me down to bangalore i also paid up for the hotels because that was not covered but yeah guys that's part of life when you're switching you give a lot of interviews some of them work out some of them do not work out and that's how life goes anyways guys that's all i had for this video and if you want to contact me for personal coaching or workshops in your university or as a speaker in technical events contact me on linkedin the links are in the video description so guys comment what's next you want to watch and subscribe to this channel if you are new and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified each time i upload the video this is me rachad and i will see you in the next one